Hello everyone. In the next lecture of Chemical Equilibrium, a thermodynamic approach, our topic of discussion is variation of free energy with degree of advancement. Now we have the expression of reaction isotherm. Now if the general reaction A plus B plus C dot 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 equals to P plus Q plus R dot 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 etc. If this equation is reduced little bit to a special form such as A plus B equals to C plus D then in that case this equation for the Van Top isotherm delta G equals to RT ln KC plus RT ln sum over I ln CI to the power nu I can also be applied. For our convenience we have just taken the equation in concentration term. Okay. Now we have to understand this equation clearly. What is the difference between this Kc and this summation term? Okay. So Kc in the expression of Kc in the numerator you have to put the corresponding concentrations of the products and in the denominator you have to put the corresponding concentrations of the reactants. And if there is any stoichiometry then those values would go to the powers of their concentration respective concentrations. These concentrations are the equilibrium concentrations. If these concentrations are deviated a little from the equilibrium concentration. Suppose the reaction at the time of starting the concentration of the reactants is much higher than the equilibrium concentration and that of the products are much lower than the equilibrium concentration. So as um, uh, so as to reach to this con concentration values or to attain this Kc value what happens in a reaction takes place in the left to right hand side direction that means the forward direction takes place and when these concentrations would reach the value of the equilibrium concentration in that case this parameter would be exactly equal to Kc and in that case these two terms are equal resulting in delta G equals to 0. So when these concentrations of the respective species maybe it's uh, they are the products or the reactants they reach the equilibrium concentration then these two terms have no difference and these two terms would determine whether the reaction would move towards the forward direction or in the backward direction or the reaction is at equilibrium. So this is the Van Top reaction isotherm and this variation is free energy can be plotted graphically with respect to the degree of advancement J. Now we have to assume three special situations where in one situation ln case is greater than this summation term Secondly, ln case is less than this summation term and thirdly, these two are equal. This expression Kc has in its numerator the concentration of the products such as concentration of C and concentration of D divided by in the denominator it has concentration of A into concentration of B. Okay. These concentrations are actually the equilibrium concentration of the reaction. Here, what about this expression? This expression is just is a fraction or is a, a rational expression where in the numerator it has concentration of C into concentration of D but these concentrations are the concentrations at any instance divided by in the denominator concentration of A into concentration of B these are also at any instance maybe at the beginning of the reaction maybe before equilibrium maybe after equilibrium so if the concentration of the product are less than the equilibrium concentrations in that case ln kc becomes greater than this term so, so definitely this term is higher since it's having a negative sign so delta g would be negative and we know that for a negative delta G value the forward reaction always takes place. So A plus B equals to C plus D would take place. If the concentration of the products is much higher 
than the concentration of the products at equilibrium, then this summation term is greater than ln Kc. Okay. In that case, ln Kc is less than sum over i ln Ci to the power nu i. And in that case, delta G is positive. Positive means the backward reaction takes place. That means C plus D equals to A plus B would occur. So it is very much clear that if the concentration of the products are less, then the reaction would move in such a way that the concentration of the product would increase and vice versa. That means if the concentration of the products are higher, then the products would combine to form the reactants in the backward direction. And finally, if this expression, in this expression, the concentrations attain the equilibrium concentrations, in that case, ln Kc would become equal to this term. And in that case, delta G equals to zero, then that means the reaction attains equilibrium. Now, time to plot delta G with respect to Xi. Xi was discussed in our fourth lecture. This is the graphical plot. Okay. So, degree of advancement in the x-axis and delta G in the y-axis. The y-axis has positive part and negative part. So, the middle part, the origin has the delta G value 0. Above this, delta G is positive. Below this, delta G is negative. And the graphical presentation, the reaction would advance following this graph like this. That means like something like uh, inverse integration sign in the landscape view. Okay, you can describe this sign like this inverse integration sign in the landscape view. Okay, so if you have any problem to draw this, then uh, just turn it 90 degree. Okay, rotate your copy 90 degree in the anti clockwise direction and then give the integration sign in the then draw the mirror image of the integration sign so that it would cross this x axis in its midpoint okay now what about this significance of this midpoint this midpoint is the equilibrium point okay and before that you see this curve is existing in the fourth quadrant that means it is having the negative delta z value and here after the equilibrium the reaction coordinate existing in the first coordinate that means delta g is positive so if delta g is positive then the backward reaction would take place that means c plus d would be equal to a plus b and in this case when the delta g is having a negative value in that case the reaction would Move, move towards the forward direction that means a plus b equals to c plus d so this is simple explanation and graphical presentation of delta g against psi so that's all for this topic thank you have a nice day